Hello, my name is Dr. O'Neill. I'm a neurologist at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'd like to define a group of disorders called functional neurologic disorders. These are very common problems uh, in the outpatient setting after a headache. These are the most common thing that we see. They are defined as patients who are having neurologic symptoms. Um, however, anatomically and structurally, the nervous system is intact. And despite the fact that that is true, the nervous system does not function in a normal way. The symptoms that patients can have range from a large um, a number of difficulties. These can be weakness, numbness, tremor, episodes of loss of consciousness, and, or cognitive difficulties, to just name a few. This is a rule-in diagnosis, whereas the neurologist uses the clinical exam as well as other neurophysiologic tests such as an uh, EEG, uh, brain, or which is called a brainwave test, or MRIs, uh, structural imaging, to, in addition to our neurologic exam, to provide evidence of incompatibility between the symptom and the recognized neurologic or medical condition. The symptom or deficit cannot be explained by another medical uh, disorder, and this deficit causes a clinical distress and impairment to the patients. I want to stress that this is in fact a brain disorder. We know from structural and functional imaging that the brain has demonstrated abnormal connections. So it's a connectivity disorder. And these connections can involve portions of the nervous system that have to do with motor planning, as well as the ability to recognize that that motor uh, or symptom has been uh, planned by self. It's a very complicated uh, and common set of disorders um, I hope this has addressed some of the uh, concerns that you have.